can use two hands if I want, but one hand I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna release. That's simple, that's a simple overhand cast. Now if you're using a bait caster, you need to time it when you want to stop it, and you stop it with your finger if you've never done it. So I'm gonna stop it just short of that black thing, all right? And I'm right there. I'm a little bit off target, about a foot, but I'll buy that. So get used to also stopping it. So you're gonna be throwing like I am, but you're gonna be throwing towards toward it out there. Whoop, a little bit hard. But that's what I want you to do. That's an overhand. Go ahead and try that a little bit, a couple times, and see if we can get used to it. Spinning rod or See how much easier a spinning rod goes out? A spinning rod goes a lot farther, okay, and e excuse me, it goes easier, it's an easier throw than a bait caster until you get it set up. You have to fine tune everything. For example, a bait caster, I'm gonna fine tune that crankbait to where she drops, and when I hit the bottom, I don't have any backlashes. So there's all kinds of things that we'll learn next week, setting up a bait caster reel. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a sidearm. So you can see, I have my elbow in toward my shoulder, or in toward my side, all right? I'm going to do a sidearm throw. I've got my elbow into my side. If you can watch, I'm moving my rod tip with my wrist, okay? And still have my arm to the side, so simple. I'm going to stand this way, and I'm going to throw it out there, all right? You've got to be accurate with these as well, especially if you go down the bank, all right? But I'll try that method. That's a sidearm. There you go. It's not bad if you never had a bait caster in your hand before. We just started this year. <coughs> there you go. Alright, so that's a sidearm. You got a 45 degree throw, and again, if you watch me, I have all the time my bait caster is to the side. Alright, I got better control. Now we're gonna do the underhand, okay? So I know that I'm going down this bank. I got the bow of my boat here. I'm going down, okay, inside this, and I'm going to go just like this and underhand one time. I like going underhand one time. If you need to go twice until you get used to it, that's fine. But I just go underhand one time, and that's all I do. I do that with my bait casters for bait or for throwing uh, crank bait and also spinner bait. Oh, I almost hooked one there. See that bite? <laughs> Better watch it. Alright, so try that. Get some grass carp in there. So again, those are just your different style casting techniques. Alright? And you have to take and become proficient. If you want to take and be accurate in the type of presentation that you need to use when you're out there bass fishing, whether it's shallow fishing and you're, and you're off that bank, or whether you're out there casting around logs and limbs or standing timber, as we call it, you have to be able to have different types of casting techniques to get that bait where you want it to go and how far you want it to go. A spinning rod is the most, most common rod to get accustomed to and get used to in any type of fishing. All right, and then move up to the bait caster. But I can assure you, once you move up to the bait caster and you start becoming proficient in just making the throws, you're going to enjoy that bait caster more and more, all right? It's a great bait caster and the right rod set up. You have a lot of power in your hand.